Hello and welcome back. I'm Randy Newbert from Voodoo Effects. In today's video, we'll be going over a tutorial about how to install fiber optic lighting. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, we're going to need two tools that are really essential for doing this kind of project. If you don't have a really solid area that is like an indentation where you're going to make your fiber optic holes and where they're going to be drilled. Um, what I like to do is I like to take a Sharpie and uh, just put black dots kind of in the areas that I want to drill. And in the case of doing fiber optics, since most of the time the fiber size is quite small, and there's a lot of variation in scale and sizes that fiber comes in, you usually 90% of the time need to do it literally by hand. Um, you cannot use a Dremel and you, uh, you definitely can't use like any kind of a speed bit because what ends up happening is a small bit just gets overheated and at some point it will snap and break off into the model. So again, um, this is a slow process and takes a long time to do. And um, so what we always do is we always literally, every time we do a fiber optic job, we're always using, um, we're hand drilling each individual hole. And uh, there could be anywhere from 20 or 30 to two or 3,000 holes, depending on how big the project is. And, how much we actually have to drill out. And uh, also too, you wanna pay attention to length. Um, a lot of times, uh, if, the, if the area is, the surface area is pretty thin, you can poke through pretty quickly. And if it's like a thicker uh, and deeper area that you need to get um, penetrate with the drill bit, you'll have to drill in a little bit deeper. And the one thing I could stress more than ever is to make sure that you try to drill it as straight as possible and always keep in mind to just try to stay in a straight path at a 90 degree angle. You want to get in there. So, you know, you want to make that hole as perfect and even as possible. So I'm going to cut back to uh, the model that we're actually going to using for this demonstration. Um, this is a model that we're going to be putting fiber optic in. And this model was provided by Dream Studios and it's the kilowatt model from batteries not included. So let me switch gears here and let's get the model out and I'll show you what it takes to get started. And then uh, we're gonna do a, kind of like a high speed time lapse because I'll be doing this for a lot of hours uh, drilling it and I don't wanna bore you with um, with the drill out. So anyway, so let's uh, let's flip to the next video. Okay, so here we finally have the uh, lower half of the model and the areas that we're uh, actually going to be drilling. In this scenario, uh, what was nice was this model already had small divot holes that were already in place for us to give us a guide. Um, and we don't have to use the, uh, uh, the Sharpie to mark our areas because the, the divots are already in place, which is very helpful in this situation. And sometimes you'll notice in models um, and some of the mold injected models like the Star Trek models and things like that, they'll already have a kind of a pre-set hole that's already uh, divoted inside the actual plastic. So it makes it really easy just to go ahead and start drilling on it. So what I always do is if I didn't have this, I would have to go back and literally uh, mark every one of these holes. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and see if I can show you. Now, as you can see in this one, you see that it has all the holes already divoted in, which again is going to be a huge uh, time saver for drilling. I haven't done a final count, but I will as I go. You can see them there too. Um, and they go all along the rim and the edge line of this model actually. So anyway, so these will give me perfect guide holes to do the drilling. And uh, I'll start by drilling out a few of them. 
and then that way you'll get a good determination of what kind of this takes to do fiber optic drill out. So here, let me switch over to another video screen and I'll kind of show this in action a little bit better. Okay, so I got the model in hand and I've got my pin vise. And now I'm going to start and do a couple of drill outs and then I'll switch so you guys can see the uh, see how long the time lapse is on this when we do this. So always when I usually do this, I tend to pick an area where I like to start. And let's see if I can zoom in here and keep this in focus. So what I do is I know that these small, I kind of rest it on the individual hole. Let me bring it down a little bit. And what I do is I just kind of just barely start the hole. And I don't, I do this very slowly. And again, um, I have to go through about an eighth, maybe a quarter inch of model. And again, I'm trying to keep it a very good angle. So this um, resin's pretty soft. So I was able to get through pretty easily. Now I've made the hole and I got one individual hole in there. And what I end up doing when I do these holes is I always go through, I'm gonna put it in one more time. So I, I drill through one time with a real smooth pass, really taking my time. Nothing to, uh, you wanna just take your time getting through these cause you don't wanna get the bit all bent and wacky. And then what I do is I'll, I'll file it through a few more times just so I don't have any binding and then that's it. I'll clear the hole and then that's pretty much it. So I think individually, let me see if you can see that one hole that I drilled. I don't know how good it's gonna show up, but I've made the initial single hole. Let me see if I can get it at this right angle so you can see it. Let me push it through. And then there you can kind of see where that hole is. And again, let me um, let me get a, let me see if you can see through it. Sometimes you can see through the backside, and then that's how you do it. And then you just continue this process all the way through. And then uh, there's one that's right next to it, so I'm going to drop this uh, the the pin vise in there again. And again, you don't want to go angular. Or you don't want to go either side or up or down. You want to try to keep it with the angle of the model um, because this will make a big difference when you go to actually feed the fiber through the model and put it in. And so I'm going to just, let me go through this thing again. The material is relatively soft. So I don't think it will take too many times to get through. And again, you don't want to force it. You want to just take your time with it. Okay, so I'm through there. I'm gonna pull it back, push it through a little bit. And you wanna do this again uh, a couple times just to clear the hole really good. And you're gonna back these when it's, uh, I'll show them on a, another video of how we're gonna actually attach them and glue them. And there's a couple different ways you can do this, but there we go. So that is the first two drill out holes uh, where the fiber optics gonna go So I'm gonna switch now to this high-speed shot Just because I don't want to bore you to death with how long this takes um, From what I see here, I'm thinking this is gonna take about two maybe three hours to hit them all um, But uh, again, I want to do this in a high speed So I'll go ahead and switch modes here and show you what it's gonna look like in high speed. So here we go
Okay, so there we go. All the holes are drilled out for the fiber optic. And now you get an idea of how long uh, the process took as far as uh, timing goes. I think I was down for about four hours, um, maybe a little less. But yeah, long time um, to do all the fiber drill outs. But well worth it. Um, here, I'm going to give you a little bit of a test uh, look at it the only thing that i changed was uh i only the only extra thing i did was when i'm done with the uh, drilling through all the holes i don't do anything to the outside i might run a scuff pad across it just a little bit here and there where the holes are drilled but um overall this edge i just i run a little sandpaper in here some smooth sandpaper and i just sand down these areas where the fibers are going to uh, go through the hole and um, that'll take care of that. But again, I'm, I'm going to do that on another video to show you actually how to thread them, dress them, and uh, attach them, um, and then bring them into a light source. But that'll be on another video as well. So anyway, so but this is what the outlook overall comes out. I'm going to switch angle here a little bit if I can see the view. So what this is, now you could see all the holes. At least I... I think you can see them along the rim here. Let me get on a right angle. And inside there is where we drilled. So these are all the drill outs here. And that's where the fiber will come through on both sides. Uh, it's probably hard to see in white, but anyway, I'm going to do a little bit. And then you can kind of get an idea of all the drill outs. Now you, they probably look a little bit bolder as far as the holes go. And let me show you what it looks like with a little bit of light source behind it. And this will help because this kind of really gives it a good idea. Or gives you kind of like a test run. And they'll look, they'll look a lot brighter even than this when, it's, um, when they're all done. Oh, I don't know if you can see that very good. And I got to do a lot of light blocking. I can't even see the light through the sides of it. But that's what you're after as far as like the first stage of preparing for the fiber. And I'm going to, let me uh, turn the light down just a little bit. And I think that'll help us so you can get a little better perspective of it. Let's see if that'll show it a little. There we go. So that shows it a little bit better. Let me keep the light. Uh, kind of give it a little bit better perspective. Get it over the angle too. And that's what you're after for the preliminary test light of the holes. And I'll flip side it on this side and kind of see what it looks like there. Again, keep the glare of that light down just a little bit. I'm sorry for it being so rudimentary or crude here, but I think overall, I think you guys are, I'm sure you guys are getting the idea of what we're after. And again, these will look a lot more brilliant with the fiber in them because the fiber will, all these little ends will be lit brightly like you see here when they're shining out into the areas or out through these holes. Okay, so I'm going to conduct this first stage of the video and call this one done. Um... Again, you have to take your time with this part of the process. And once you get through it all, um, this is probably one of the harder parts of getting it prepared and getting it prepared for the fiber. But once this is all drilled out and ready, um, you're, you're ready to move on to the next stage, which will be later on in the build. I will actually pre-paint this whole model, um, both the top you know, and all this bottom section. But I'll have it so you can remove it so I can get in here to actually work the fibers. There's other little areas that are going to be lit too. They're like this back 
these back spots right here, these little vent holes. And then uh, there's going to be some lighting here. And then obviously with the eye set in place too. So anyway, so we'll, uh, uh, we'll, we'll conclude this video. And again, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do now. And uh, 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 if you want to give us a good like or a thumbs up, that would be great too. We can use all the help that we can get. So anyway, so um, until the next video, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.